Hello, my fellow believers. It's Redemptor once again with another interesting video. As I told you on my previous videos, I am not a preacher, neither do I intend to be one in the future. On this channel, I do commentary videos commenting on different topics concerning Christianity and most importantly, the salvation by the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a channel where you get to hear what many preachers won't tell you the truth of the gospel we are all ambassadors in christ and our work is to share the truth of the gospel to the world and to the non-believers the devil is so evil and he never wants to see people stand for the truth for quite some time now we have witnessed pastor Gino Jennings miss out on conferences and church services only to realize he was sick the last time he was sick he said he was diagnosed with pneumonia and he received medical care and was doing better only a few days ago he again fell sick and couldn't attend a set conference in jamaica which is his homeland let's see the updates for you that are, are just visiting today and were not here on Friday and Saturday, as uh, we mentioned, we apologize for Pastor Jenny's not being here with us as he had planned and intended to be here with us, but due to he falling ill last week, he was not able to make the trip. You know, so for you that came with an expectation to see him, we apologize. You know, but we will continue with the program as we have been doing. And God has been with us. God has been with us as he always has been. And we are grateful. Let us continue to pray for our leader. That the Lord might strengthen him and restore his health. That he might continue to do the work of the Lord. But we thank God for the ministers that, you know, minister in his stead. We really hear the word of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. We thank God. Take your burden to the Lord yeah. and leave him there. Yes, if you ain't going to do it, shut up. That's right. That's right. Take your burden. Go ahead. God is asking for your problem. That's right. God said, bring it to him. That's right. Bring all of it. Casting all no of it. No matter place. how small. No, hallelujah. 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 No matter how great. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Doesn't matter of your sickness. Go ahead, brother. Bring it to him. That's right. Go ahead. Doctor gave you six weeks. Hallelujah. Bring those six weeks to him. Hallelujah. Let God give you 60 more years. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Doctors gave you up. Hallelujah. Bring it to him. Go ahead. God said, I'll never forsake you. Go ahead. I'll never reach you. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You understand? Bring it to him. Don't bring it to him and take it back. Leave it there. Hallelujah. Let God have it. Hallelujah. God say, I want it. Hallelujah. Give it to him. Casting all your care. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost said. Casting all your care. Yes. All your care. All your care. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Upon him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He cares for you. Hallelujah. He said, yes. He cares for you. That's right. Then he said, Be sober. That's right. Be sober. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, the devil, as a wrong lion, walk about, walk is about, walk about as a wrong lion, seeking line. whom he may devour. If only the people around him 
could give us the clear updates about his health and how he is doing. I feel broken whenever I hear the news of Pastor Gino Jennings' sickness because it's clear the devil wants to steal the purpose of Pastor Gino Jennings. I must say that Pastor Gino Jennings has attracted enemies from all corners of the world because of his firm stand and I'm sure many of them celebrate whenever they hear Pastor Gino Jennings is unwell. I never laid up in the hospital and I, and I didn't go to lay up in the hospital. He said, don't even let them keep you. I said, I'm not. My wife asked me, am I going to go to the hospital? I said, no, I'm not going to have them admit me in no hospital. I'm going to be home. So they took some x-rays and Burton called me when he got them. He said, I never met a man who knew a body as well as you know yours. He said, you do have pneumonia, and it's in the exact spot where you were pointing at. So he gave me a vigorous herb regimen, antibiotics and whatnot. This is the third time I had pneumonia. When I was a child, I used to hear when you get pneumonia the third time, you die from it. I used to hear that. But people have died from it the first time. I first had pneumonia in my early days of pastoring, still meeting in the basement. And I didn't go to the hospital at all. In fact, I never forget there was two balls of meat that formed on my glands. If I opened my mouth, you could see them. And I was about mm, 23 or 24. Wasn't married then. And I remember praying. My glands, my neck was so swollen. And I remember laying down at night. I felt something coming out of my mouth. When I woke up, big clunks of blood was coming out of my mouth on the pillow. And I wiped it up, changed pillow, case and whatnot, and just prayed. I only was pastoring then, maybe about a year. And then when I saw the two big balls of meat, I prayed, and a few days later they went away, and they left two big holes in my gland. God healed that and those holes closed up. The second time I had pneumonia was 27 years ago. My wife was carrying my son Red, who you call Cameron, and I want to wish him a happy 27th birthday. That was the worst I've ever had it. The pneumonia covered the entire left side until the doctors, when they gave me x-rays, they said they couldn't hardly see my ribs or nothing. It was just covered. And I was out of church then about four months or more. I have never been that sick to the degree I couldn't barely walk. My wife, who was about seven or eight months pregnant, I couldn't get out the bed. If I laid down, she had to take me and lift my arms and put it around her neck and pull me up. No matter what the enemy does, he must know that healing in God is guaranteed and our prayers will surely stand for Pastor Gino Jennings. Lucky enough, Pastor Gino Jennings still has so many people around the world who genuinely love him. And we as at Christ's expense are among those who love and appreciate what Pastor Gino Jennings is doing. 
of a truth. We thank God for a leader, the apostle and pastor, Gina Jennings. We thank God for him, and we are praying much for him because, as Elder Gary had stated, that, you know, we, we come to hear the word from the apostle. But God knows all things, and what we ought to do is pray for him sincerely that God may give him recovery speedily. Uh, it is a time where he has, the work is so much, so large. The work is so large, you know, he's trying his best to do what he has to do to go many places, but uh, we need to pray that God give him strength. Pray for your leader. And uh, sometimes you say these things, it sounds like a cliche. But I'm encouraging you to pray for him sincerely that God may keep and preserve him. Amen. Thanking God for Elder Gary Robinson, who is the elder and the overseer of the Caribbean. Also, his assistant, Brother Minister Baker. Thanking God for Evangelist Stige as well and all the other ministers, saints. We greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm no stranger to Jamaica. I'm from Jamaica. So when I say what I go on, you know what I'm talking about. I'm from Jamaica and I thank God that I'm able to be here again in this holy convocation. I truly thank God for the songs that went forth and the testimonies and uh, truly we're blessed. Uh, you have a lot of talent. And when you're using your talent to glorify God, that's a wonderful thing. Amen. Well, I'm going to try my best not to hold you too long, but as I preach, you pray for me. Can you do that for me? Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, it is always beautiful to see a gathering of God's people, especially when we gather in holiness. Now, we can say of a truth that the message of holiness have brought us all together. Some of us would have never known each other except we were seeking after God to be right. Look at Jamaica as the evangelist Taj mentioned and the work that is going on in the Caribbean. We thank God for the inspiration of God that sent the apostle here and for Elder Gary and all the other ministers that work along with him that has been doing such a wonderful job. We do thank God for them as well. Now after we gather, we are gathered to be prepared. And we are being prepared to make the first resurrection. That is the whole reason why we should be here, or the paramount reason why we should be here. So that when the Lord return, we're not just going to gather down here, but we'll gather in heaven. We might not always agree with Pastor Gino Jennings, but we love him and pray for him. Pastor Gino Jennings, no matter the condition you find yourself in, you shall overcome, and just as Christ conquered the cross, so you will conquer any sickness. Through the power of the cross, you are healed. God is watching over you. He will protect you from every traps of the enemy. It shall be well with you. We love you, and we are praying for you. Hallelujah! Your care. He said, cast. Casting all your care. All of it. Upon him. Don't have to. Don't take off. Hallelujah. Cast all of it. All your care. Why? Upon him. Upon him. For he cares for you. You got cancer. He cares for you. Cast it on him. That's it. You had a stroke. Cast it on him. That's right. You got high blood. Casting all Cast your care. Cast it on him. Go ahead, man. You got a fatal disease. Casting on your Cast head. it on him. Go ahead. You're blind. Go ahead. Cast it on him. Go ahead, man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you hear what he said? Casting all your care. How much? 
all you can. Stop casting bits and pieces. Hallelujah. God ain't asking bits and pieces. God is giving you the privilege to put everything all you can on him. That's right. Let it go. That's right. He asked for it. Casting all you can. Give it to him. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. You hear the Bible? Casting all your care upon him. You go to God and give God bits and pieces. Thank you for your company and for your support. I don't take it for granted. I really appreciate you. If it is your first time coming across our channel, kindly consider subscribing. Press the notification bell so you will be notified once we upload a new video. Please remember to give our videos a thumbs up. I love you so much guys. Bye bye for now and see you on the next one. Shalom.